What's up, corn buddies, and welcome to Try Guys Game Time. Try Guys, Try guys, guys Game, game time. time. We can do that better, come on. Yeah. We never nail it. <laughs> Try Guys, guys game, game Time. They're videos where we hang out, play some games, have some fun. Today we are playing which Try Guy knows Zach the best. Wow, me. Oh my god. I believe our contestants have a greeting message for me. We do? I think I know Hot Ankles Cornfeld wow. the best. They out to play today. I'm pretty sure that I know our little corn ditty the best. I drew him <laughs> kneeling near a cat. As usual, I think I'm going to lose again. But please welcome Jewish Kitty. Meow, 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 this is the Corn Buddy Buddy Test to see who is the most Corn Buddy of all the Corn Buddies. We have three Corn Buddies here playing today. Who will be the most Corn Buddy? Oh, God. We're all little Corn Buds. Oh, God. We're going to be splitting this into three rounds. Easy questions that all of you may know. This is probably a medium question, but I wanted to give you guys a juicy nugget to start off. In middle school, what body part did I almost lose? Ned, what body part did I almost lose? Your head. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I thought it was a bit much for the first question, but. Yikes. Because of the car accident. Yeah. That was, that was elementary school, <laughs> that was dark. It? That's true. <laughs> I got <laughs> you there. I got you there. <laughs> I guess testicle. Then I blurred the testicles out because it's a family show. I also wrote testicle, parentheses, one of them. The answer I was looking for was testicle. My left testicle, more specifically. I was in a car crash uh, when I was a kid. That was in fourth grade. I think you should <laughs> give him a point. I'm gonna give you a point because yeah. it is true. But wow, that's horrific. I'm sorry for starting it off that way. Let's, let's make this a little easier, huh? What is my middle name? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Don't you dare. Andrew. Andrew. Sandy Andy. Andrew. Sandy Andy. Fanny. <laughs> you are all unfortunately correct. Yay! My, name, my middle name is Andrew. Points for everyone! Sandy Andy Sandy Andy Sandy Andy Sandy Andy Sandy Andy. What is my most potent food allergy? God, you have so many. The one that makes you shit like the Dickens? Uh, yeah, the one that makes me shit my brains out. Yeah, I'll make you shit your brains out. <laughs> Zach, what makes you poop your pants is dairy. Dairy. But I went with something really specific, red bell peppers. Those also fuck them up. I'm gonna give points to everyone, dairy and bell pepper. Wow. <laughs> I, I, what is my only tattoo? Bonus points for drawing. No bonus points. <laughs> Pens down, answers in. Zach, you got a little smiley face on your butt. You got a smiley face on your butt. I believe it's small on your right cheek. Also, happy face on butt. Damn right, I got a smiley butt. Yeah. Little oh, cutie. It was actually one of the first and most like dumb things I did on camera, and I'm like, yeah, I can make this a career. Prove it now. Show your butt. butt. Show, Show your butt. butt. Oh, it's Show gonna be hard to butt. get to with the Show your turtle. butt. Uh, no regrets. Your parents like it? You know. They got over it. What is young Zachary's favorite drink? Tea. Tea. Green tea. Tea. Points for everyone. He likes all the teas. Different teas at different times. Really? At the end of the first round, everyone's tied. Yay! Five points for everyone. Jewish kitty. All right, round two. Points in this round are double, and the questions are harder. What is my biggest phobia? Oh. Uh-oh. I didn't have a moment of recognition. Oh. Oh. Oh, I got it. Fish slash open water. Medium slash little fish in the open water. Open deep water. Swimming in the ocean with fish. It's just the fear that a fish could be hiding somewhere. I'm gonna say you're all right. We're all hey. right. Hey. We're all right. Hey. 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 Corn buds. Let's heat it up a little bit. Yeah, I may get this one wrong too. A year ago, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. Spell the disease that I have. So is this gonna be whoever gets closest? No, man, you had to spell it right. Ankylosing spondylitis. Hot ankylospondylitis <laughs> cornfeld. <laughs> and then I also wrote bonitis. I wrote ankylosis spondylitis, so I'm probably wrong. Unfortunately, you are all incorrect. Ned is very close. It's actually ankylosing, not ankylosing. Ankylosing spondylitis. Ned, you came the closest, so you get a half point. Yay! I appreciate you guys knowing and caring. I was just gonna write crippling bonitis. <laughs> which is a Futurama reference. Yeah. What is my all-time favorite band? What's like the music version of being a foodie? A music, a music snob. 
There it is. <laughs> I said Vampire Weekend with the two bonus answers as Radiohead and Coldplay. I kind of want to give you negative points for guessing Coldplay. No way it's Coldplay. <laughs> I was going to say Coldplay. there's not a chance it's Coldplay. I also went with Vampire Weekend because you've gone to see them twice in the last month. I went with Vampire Weekend, but with no question mark. My all-time favorite is Vampire Weekend. Whee! I've actually seen them three times in the past month, wow. which oh, is a lot. Are you allowing the Coldplay to slip through? I think that I have to give you a, a negative half point. Point. Come on! <laughs> I'm, in, I'm a little insulted by it. Coldplay's it's, a great fan. Not in my pantheon. How and why did I start making movies? This is something that we share. It's Lego Movie Maker. I believe it is, in fact, Lego Movie Maker. I said watching the hit TV show Lost. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give it up because Lost is definitely my all-time favorite show. But no, I got the Lego Movie Maker kit for Hanukkah, and I started making Lego movies, and from there, I just, uh, this love erupted. Unknown fact about me, I had a brief stint as a child actor. What television show was I on as a kid, and who was the host? Oh, I know this. I don't have a host written down, so <laughs> this is not it. As a kid, you were on SNL, hosted by Bruce Springsteen. I believe the host was actually Hugh Grant. <laughs> I think the host was Elijah Wood. I was a background actor on Saturday Night Live, and the host at the height of Lord of the Rings was Elijah Wood. Yeah. 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 Two points to everyone, and a bonus two points to Eugene. I had surgery to correct my almost lost testicle, then I was on Saturday Night Live with Elijah Wood. It was the craziest two weeks of my life. Would you say the two weeks were nuts? Good thing he still got wood. Hey. Hey. And at the end of round two, the points are... Everyone's even. Really? Even with my bullshit half points? Because of your bullshit wow. half points, Zach. <laughs> making okay, so. the entire previous rounds irrelevant. <laughs> These are things that only the closest people in my life could possibly know. I was never officially bar mitzvahed, but what is my Hebrew name and what does it mean? Is it in Hebrew? Yeah, you won't get it. I would just guess like what's a fun meaning for a word. Your Hebrew name is Zalohai Shalom, which means, what's up, Zach? <laughs> Your Hebrew name is Andy, and it means covered in sand. <laughs> Look at the art here. Look at this wow. art. Wow. Your Hebrew name is Levi, and it means <laughs> jeans? <laughs> <laughs> you are all unfortunately incorrect. Well, I chose the coolest word I could find, rakdan, which means the dancer. Both of those are not you. Wow. <laughs> you... Ned's is the most Jewish, at least. So, uh, let's give Ned one point. Yay! Yay! Who was my biggest childhood crush? Your biggest childhood crush is Nick Cage. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie Portman? One of these answers was beautiful and yet not in the right era. One of these was funny and yet not correct. Zach, you are America's Next Top Model. Tyra Banks! Wow. Wow. I was like middle school, I think, crazy obsessed with Tyra Banks. Was uh, it from that um, that Life Size Disney movie? You know, it wasn't from Life Size. Cause she was hot and bad. There is a moment in Life Size where she got out of the shower and she's wearing an oversized jersey. Oh, damn. Yeah. What body part makes me the most squeamish? On your body? Yeah. If you were to touch it, I would freak the fuck out. The top of your head. You think I have a soft spot, like a ba like your baby? Back of the knee, because I haven't touched you there. I'm gonna quote what you call them, your pepperoni nipples. Is it your pepperoni nipples? The thing I am most squeamish about being touched is my belly button. Oh. oh. It freaks me the fuck out. One thing me and the Pillsbury Doughboy have in common, we both hate our belly buttons being touched. No, he likes it. He loves it, he sees it. He says, <laughs> In college, I owned and only watched one DVD. What movie was it? Oh, oh my God. Wow, I talk to you more than I think I do. <laughs> the Fast and the Furious. Uh, I believe it's Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen's Billboard Dad. <laughs> oh man, and Josie and the Pussycats? Josie and the Pussycats! Uh, yeah! So here's the deal. I had a DVD VHS combo player and the DVD player got jammed. So Josie and the Pussycats got stuck in there. Honestly, one of the most underrated films of all time. Their dad is so single, they make a billboard <laughs> for him and it works. Final question. If you know me, you know this is something I am very passionate about. Rank the Fast and Furious movies in order from best to worst. I shall do the same. Oh no. Two, how many are there, eight? Number one, Furious Seven. Number two, Fast Five. Number three, The Original. Number four, Tokyo Drift. Number five, Furious Eight. And then number six, number two, number four. 
F2, F8, F1, F3, F4, F7, F6, the F5. Here. Yeah, I don't know if I can just numbers. I put seven at the top, then six, then fates, then three, controversial opinion, then number one, because you added the original, five, two, and at the bottom four. The correct and only correct answer is five, seven, six, Tokyo Drift, one, eight, two, four, four is trash. Five is the best movie ever made. It's when they introduced Dwayne The Rock Johnson and decided to just put shit off the rails. Ned, congratulations, you are the closest. Yes. I just, I want, this is canon, okay? If you disagree with me, comment below, but I will block you. This was a tight race. Unfortunately, in last place, Keith Douglas Habersberger. Wow. You're my best friend, but apparently, it's not mutual. I don't care about your movies <laughs> and your order of what movies you like. That's so stupid to care about. My very best friend. The number one corn buddy of them all. No, I want to be the that. top corn I, flower. I don't want to be a corn, corn buddy. Seed. I don't want to be that. The kernel of my I, life. I rescind my. The absolute. I don't want to be a contestant. Boy, Eugene Lee Yang, oh, my best no. friend. Wow. Congratulations. Oh, Why did you phrase it that way? Watching. Eugene's my best friend. He loves me so much. This has been Try Guys Game Time. Try Guys Game, Game Time. Time. Oh God, Eugene. Yeah, I mean. Oh fuck, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> right. That's what, not what best friends do. Try Guys Game Time. Jewish kitty, Jewish kitty, who are you? Who are you? I am Jewish kitty. I am Jewish kitty. Meow meow meow. Here's a mask.